Hey everyone, I'm Pro Jared. I'm Mars Girl. And we're going to teach you how to play the Final Fantasy card game, which only ever came out in Japan last year? Last year, last February, I want to say, 2011. Yeah, it never came out in the States, never had an official English translation. Uh, I did my own English translation just because I was so curious about it, and then nobody else wanted to play with me. So we're going to do this for basically the first time. So she's taught me how to play, and now we're going to teach you guys. So let's go. Start by drawing five cards. So the basic object of the game, of course, to defeat the other opponent, um, you either want to deck them out, have them use up all their cards, or have them take seven damage. Uh, the point is to generate uh, CP, crystal points, and uh, there's different elements, lightning, fire, water, all that jazz. Right now, we mostly are only playing with lightning and earth. Uh, so that'll be easy to swallow right now. Uh, there's three main types of cards. There's backups, which will help you generate crystal points, CP, so that you can then play bigger cards. You have forwards, which are the dudes who are going to be attacking one another, and then there's also summons who will do big, awesome things throughout the course of the game. Now, we do have one mat here, kind of showing you where everything is. I got my deck here, the discard pile. This is going to be the forward zone, which is all the attacking characters. In the back is all of your backups or backups. other characters that help generate Christogen points or do other special abilities. And this area over here lets you know how much damage you've, you've taken. So every time you take a damage, you lose a card, you lose seven cards, you lose. Okay, so first player will always only draw one card. Um, and you want to discard a card to generate CP, crystal points. Um, Think of um, crystal points like mana from Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up and totally forgot to do so. So I'm going to start by um, discarding this guy right here, Delita. Um, is that looking good, by the way? Right there? Uh, Am I in the... Over here. Yeah, discards over here. So discarding Delita has generated two Earth Christian points. Since Delita, that yellow color is going to be Earth. So she got two Christian points for discarding Delita. So now I can play another Earth card, and this is a backup. Monk, and he's gonna come out dulled or tapped, as you might know it. Uh, usually, when he starts out like this, you're gonna tap him or dull him, and you will generate another Earth CP. For right now, though, he just comes out kind of summon sickness that way, so he can't do anything right now, and I can't do much of anything else, so I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> So for my turn, I'm going to discard one Ramza card to get two Lightning Christian points, along with a Odin summon to get a total of four Christian points, which allows me to play the same Ramza card, as he costs four and has a power of 5,000. So he goes out into the forward field, but comes out dulls, so he can't do anything this first turn. Oh yeah, this guy is undulled. But I'm going to dull him again, because I'm going to put something else out. Now, dulling a backup allows you to generate one extra Christogen point. So that's the best way to generate Christogen points, since you don't have to discard anything. So she summons out a new backup, and of course all backups come out dulled. Um, and again, discarding a card creates two CP. So I'm going to throw away Vanille, because she's annoying as all hell. I'm going to lay out Barret here, or 5,000 power. Um, I don't think he does anything special. Nothing that I can use right now. Now, when summoning a card, you need at least one Christian point of that card's type. So if you're playing an Earth card, you need at least one Earth Christian point. The rest can be whatever. Unless the card states, says otherwise, you just need that one. So I'm going to discard a Vincent card, since he can only work by himself. So I get two Earth Christian points. And then I'll discard a Sage to get another two for a total of four. So I can summon a Black Belt in the adult state. Uh, Did you want to attack? Probably not, because they're I both... I don't. Because <laughs> right, so we would both die. Yeah, so that's my turn. Never mind, I'm throwing away Hecaton Share for 2 CP. Also throwing away Delita for 2 CP. And dulling my two backups to play uh, Gabranth. Dulled. Uh, Gabranth, his ability is for every one damage point you deal, his power increases by 1,000. So that's kind of hardcore. 
but I can't do much right now. Um, and I'm not going to attack either. So for my turn, I'm going to discard two cards. A summoner for two lightning Christogen points, along with another Odin summoning card for two Christogen points. So I can play lightning. Lightning's special ability is that once she has haste, which means she comes into play, not dull, so she can attack right away, and her other ability allows her to dull any forward that's currently active. So I'm going to dull Barret. Thanks a lot. Which makes you defenseless, so I'm going to attack with Ramza and Lightning. And since Mars Girl doesn't have anything to defend with, she's going to take two damage, which means she's gonna have to discard two cards from the top of her deck. Oh no, Kate Sith, that's awful. Monk is pretty sad though. So I've taken two damage out of a total of seven. If I hit seven, I'll lose. Summon lead. I will, I will throw away Odin for two lightning CP and then dull another for a third and play Onion Knight. And I don't remember what Onion Knight does. And I, when he's on the field, uh, uh, you can choose to damage one forward, and that forward takes 5,000 damage. So I'm going to choose to to deal this guy 5,000 damage. Alright, so that brings my black belt down to 3,000 power right now. For every forward card, down the lower right has a damage meter on it. Think of it as much like a Yu-Gi-Oh attack power, where if one card has a higher attack power than the other, that card is destroyed. So he's already down to 3,000 right now. So with that, uh, I'm now going to choose to attack. And I'm going to attack with Barret. And you can choose to defend with your active guy or not and just take the hit. I'm going to actually defend this. So normally the Black Belt would destroy Barret, but since the Onion Knight already hurt him, the Black Belt ends up getting destroyed. And I'll end my turn. I've currently only got the two cards in my hand, and I don't have any backup, so it's really hard for me to generate Christogen points at the moment, so I'm in trouble. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't end your turn. I kind of ends my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw away a Kate Sif to generate two lightning CP to put down a Red Mage backup. It dulled. What does Red Mage do? Red Mage, well, you also have to spend occasionally, like in the example of this Red Mage here, and I don't know how well you can see this because this is tiny, but uh, there's a little icon here that shows a tiny little crystal, purple crystal, and the dull symbol. So if I wanted to spend another lightning CP and then dull him, it would activate his ability that he's got written here, which I'm probably not going to do because I don't have any lightning CP to generate right now. So I'm not really going to explain that right now because that would be pointless. Um, I will attack with Onion Knight. And I'm just going to take the hit then and I'll take a damage. And now, Vanille, no, damn, oh. All right, is that your turn? I will end my turn there. All right, I am going to discard one black belt for two Earth Christian points to play a different black belt back up <laughs> in the adult state. Now, Ramza's special ability is that for every backup that I have, he gets an additional 1,000 attack powers. So that brings Ramza up to 6,000. And that'll be my turn. Now here I'm starting to run out of space on the field, and I'm considering playing another forward, but uh, you can only play five forwards at a time on the field. However, you can have an unlimited amount of backups. So maybe right now I will just use a backup. All right, I'll throw away this one to play this one, dulled state. Um, when he comes out on the field, I choose a forward, and that forward takes 5,000 damage. I choose lightning. Yeah, uh, lightning dies. That ends my turn. Wait, does it? No, I can, t I can totally attack. I, uh, I attack with Gabranth. 
Uh, I'm going to have to take the hit, which means since he hits me directly, his ability activates, which brings him up to now 9,000 damage, or 9,000 power. I lose a card, which activates an EX burst. Oh god. Now, certain cards are labeled with the EX in the upper right-hand corner. What this means is, for whatever reason, if it's discarded after taking damage, that effect goes into play immediately. And Rama does 4,000 damage to any forward. And so that's practically useless right now. Bear takes 4,000 because I like him the least. I am going to discard a Red Mage so I can play Cosmos. Ooh. Now, as a light character, you can only have one light character on a field at a time. Same thing with dark types. However, Cosmos' ability allows her me to have multiple light characters. Her other ability, as a backup, allows her to generate CP of any type which will be handy next turn, but as of right now, I'm still kind of boned, so that's my turn. So I've dulled this guy and I'm using Golem. Uh, part of his EX burst states that I get to choose a forward, and until the end of that turn, it gains an additional 2,000 attack points. I'm just going to pump up Gabranth that's really freaking fantastic. So right now, he's at 10,000, and... You know, what the heck? Let's throw 10,000 at somebody. Uh. Roms is gonna suck it hard. I'm gonna attack some more. Go to it, Barrett. Yeah, and I have no pretty much have nothing to defend with, so I'm gonna start taking damage. I'm taking another one here. It's a Delita. And, and what the hell? We're gonna attack with Onion Knight, too. And one more damage, and I lose a Sage. I'm going to dull my black belt one earth CP, and then discard a golem for two more, and a bear for two more, which allows me to play the backup, Mustadio, whose special ability, which also happens to be an X, EX burst, but I'm just using it normally here, makes it so that I can choose any dulled forward and instantly destroy it. So I'm going to kill Gabranth. Oh, fantastic. Goodbye, Gabranth. You were useful. Unfortunately, that's all I got, so it's your turn. Great. I'm going to throw away a summoner and dull two more cards to play the Warrior of Light. So he makes up for Gabranth, but he comes out dull. And now we're going to start attacking things. This is fun. Barret's going to attack you. I don't have a way of defending, so it's another damage, and I lose another Lunith Black Belt. And Onion Knight's going to attack you as well. One more damage, and I lose a Barret. So I have taken six damage so far. If I get hit one more time, I lose. And I'm done with this turn. All right, undull my dude though. All right, so I can do this. That's all I got. I'm going to dull Cosmos for one lightning CP. Uh, uh, I'll dull Black Belt and I'll discard a Dragoon to play lightning. Who comes out dulled? Her special ability. Oh, that's right, she has haste. Lightning has haste, so she isn't dulled, which means I get to attack and deal you one. Ha! Well, you are an ass, aren't you? Threw away a couple of things and then dull the thing and then out suddenly came X Death! Oh my god. And everybody attacks you. Boom! Okay, so not only <clears throat> I've taken seven damage, I lose, and it was also my last card in the deck, so I lo double lost. So at least if nothing else, it gives you a brief idea of how the Final Fantasy card game works. I mean, there's still a lot more to it, like a lot more special abilities and summons that you can play on either turn. And, and of course you haven't seen even half of the elements, yeah. so... This was only Earth and Lightning. There's fire, water, wind... Uh, darkness. Yeah. So, and I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they have since released several other additions to the game um, in their many expansion packs, none of which I have yep. played. Yes. So, hopefully you get an idea of how to play this game. If you're interested, you can probably find some cards online. Uh, if you want even uh, more explicit rule sets and translations, Mars Girl actually made her own Wikia for the Final Fantasy card game. It's FinalFantasyTCG.Wikia.com. You can go there for all the card translations and uh, even more thorough explanations of how to play. 
All right, so that's about it, I guess. So thanks a whole bunch, you guys. Yep, so we should play again, only you should make me a better deck because you clearly had better cards. I didn't mean to. You I'm had sorry. X Death and the Warrior of Light. <laughs>